96. The capture of Whitey Bulger having an emotional impact on a local woman. She says she gave birth to Bulger's son. That boy died when he was just six years old, and now that woman is speaking out about Bulger's arrest. I knew he never planned to go back to jail. He had always said he would not. As a matter of fact. So when Lindsay Sear learned that the father of her first child, Whitey Bulger, was found, she immediately feared for his life. I'm very happy that there was no trouble. Sear says she and Whitey, or Jimmy as she calls him, were together 14 years. She says he was smooth, charming, and says that she always felt protected. The pair had a son, Douglas, who they'd taken to California many times, though they'd never gone to Santa Monica, where Whitey and his current girlfriend, Catherine Grieg, were arrested. We went to see Alcatraz, and um, that was a very emotional experience. We stood in his old cell with the baby in his arms and me, and I remember how emotional he was about it. It's an emotional thought for Sierra knowing Bulger is back in custody where he vowed never to return. Her hopes now are for a speedy trial and what she says is the truth. A lot of people have gotten deals they were not entitled to by pushing things over to him and saying he did it. Um, and I'll be very interested to see if those deals still look as good to the people that made them. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to. Asir says she spoke with Bulger twice since he disappeared during the last phone call. She asked if he wanted to come home. He told her, I'm never going back to jail. Bulger's arrest ended a frustrating and long search with reported sightings really all across the globe. Seven's Francis Rivera has more on the FBI's 16-year chase of the mob mastermind. The last credible sighting of Whitey Bulger was in 2002 in London. The FBI received a tip from a British businessman who had met Bulger eight years earlier and said he spotted Bulger on a London street. But since then, investigators say there have been multiple leads in California. One tipster reported seeing the mob boss in 2006 while watching the Boston gangster movie The Departed in a theater in San Diego. Bulger was an inspiration for Jack Nicholson's character in the 2006 Martin Scorsese film. In 2007, FBI releases video of a couple that resembles Bulger and his longtime girlfriend, Catherine Grieg, in Italy. In many of the sightings in the U.S. and Europe, investigators could not confirm whether it was actually Bulger who was spotted or simply a lookalike. But the confirmed sighting started right after Bulger fled. In 1995 and 1996 in Grand Isle, Louisiana. In 95 in Clearwater, Florida. 95 Sheridan, Wyoming. In 1996 in Okima, Oklahoma. In 2000, a tipster reported seeing Bulger and his girlfriend in California, specifically at a beauty salon in Fountain Valley. FBI agents described Greg as frequenting hair salons and say she liked to keep her hair dyed blonde. Francis Rivera, 7 News. The California search for Whitey was fueled with the FBI investigation, an elderly man who had robbed three Orange County banks. An FBI spokesperson said, although there was speculation, they now believe that man was not Bulger. Keep it here for the latest on Whitey's capture. Jonathan Hall remains in Los Angeles. Look for his live reports all day here on 7 News. And we have much more on the capture of Bulger on our website. A look back at the stories, the photos, the interviews from the past to the present. It's all at WHDH.com. Coming up on 7 News at noon, some new details about Osama bin Laden and his possible ties to the Pakistan government. And the latest on that severe flooding in the Midwest. Residents there are bracing for a record-breaking surge this weekend. And we still have some mist and drizzle out there right now and perhaps more storms later on tonight. Details in your forecast next. And we are continuing to monitor that breaking news in the Bulger case. The notorious fugitive now on his way back to Boston, where he will appear in federal court this afternoon. And remember, if you ever see breaking news or have a story idea for 7 News, we'd like to hear from you. Call us on the 7 News tip line at 1-800-280-TIPS. That's 800-280-8477. I'm Bob Skirty, owner of Executive Appliance Service. Realized that working in accounting and sitting at a desk for the next 20 years just wasn't going to make me happy. I wanted freedom. That's why we looked into basic.